Hello. Yeah, this is a mini fridge behind me and one of my 200 uh, amp hour lithium batteries. Yeah. So I'm sure I get a lot of questions on what is that thing behind you all of a sudden. Mini fridge, just full of water, English muffins, and um, oh yeah, some strawberries. Yeah. If you want to know what's in the mini fridge, I had it on sale for like $105, so that's why I got it. Cheap. Also, too, these are extremely low power consumption units. You could run it off one of these uh, 200 amp hour lithiums that I would recharge via my solar panels. That way you could actually keep your food cold if the grid goes down. So There's actually something extremely troubling. There's actually <laughs> more than one thing that's extremely troubling. I'd like to get to the what I consider to be the worst one here. Um, in just a second. Uh, it, it just keeps ramping up. Um, as I've said before, maybe like a half a year ago, this reminds me, like one of those brutal scenes in a movie. It's like a German soldier uh, captures uh, an allied person. And what this is exactly what they're trying to do. He, 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 covers his, he covers the person's mouth and he goes shh, 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 and he whips out uh, the dagger and, you know, I don't want to get to the gruesome part. There's full frontal, which of course never works, especially when you're actually talking about entities, um, unless it's you know everybody's in uniform. It becomes blatantly obvious, and it just wouldn't work. The way you do this, you know, is a stepped increase. Like, well, this is unrelated. Let's see, it is related. Then there's this, and then this, and this, and this, and people are just too busy to keep uh, their eyes on the ball. They're too busy because everybody right now is struggling. Nobody that I know of, other than the super rich, are living at all. Everybody is just in survival mode. Anyway, there's countless Hydra entities. I kind of humorously, even though not humorously, call them Hydra entities that are, uh, by the way, trying to buy up all the, fun all the homes. I've gotten information from an enormous amount of people, not just in the United States, but also to various places in Europe. I got two emails today and three attempted phone calls. I even had to report junk on a text that shows up as my local area code, even though it's not. All of these, undeniably, are linked to one or two entities. Uh, we could say uh, Darkstone, as I like to call it. Um, the one thing of uh, the actor on TV that uh, talks about uh, getting a, uh, a, uh, a loan on your home mortgage, that entity that makes that commercial starring Tom Selleck, by the way. I thought to myself, I saw that thing for years. I said, somehow, this is connected to Darkstone. And as I reported to you, I investigated it. And it is. The entity is owned by Darkstone. Um, this idea that uh, you'll own nothing and be happy is absolutely ridiculous. It's not funny at all. They are trying to basically buy up everything. This is exactly how the coal, miner, uh, coal mines did it. Uh, the company store, they give you uh, fake money that you can only spend there and at the company stores. So you basically work your butt off. You have just enough money to pay rent and all the food and the rent and the entertainment. It was all controlled by one entity. So at the end of the week, you're basically broke. So they actually weren't paying you anything. They were letting you eat and sleep. Th this is exactly what is going on, except it's a whole lot more elaborate. And that is not uh, either conspiratorial or hyperbolic. This is actually what is going on. Enormous amount of you have said the same thing, that uh, you're getting people trying to buy your homes from you. I actually uh, hate to say it. Well, I don't hate to say it. I cuss them out, or I'll speak uh, Russian, or I'll speak in Pali, and they're like, you know, can I talk to Ken? Um, usually I won't answer, but sometimes I will just for uh, giggles. Um, the only way out of this is to do an end run around home prices. I haven't even got to the really bad stuff here in this, if you could bear with me just for a second. An end run around home prices. I've told you how, and it's not like hard to do at all. You know how these people have these stupid uh, mortgage, I mean, uh, uh, home flipping courses, you, like you pay money and they'll teach you all these secrets. And it's all just mostly garbage and nonsense for them to scam money off of you. I've told you how to do it, that you can buy like basically 10 acres, depending on where it's at. 10, even sometimes more than uh, 10 acres. I bought quite a bit of land at $248 an acre. Yes, a very beautiful, very, very beautiful land. 10 acres or so for say 20 grand or less, you plop down an Amish built cabin, 
between 10 and 15 grand. So you actually have a 10 acre farm, which is more than enough for most people, way more than enough for any size family in the garden and the farm animals, all that stuff. Uh, so the home and uh, the farm for basically 30 grand. That is the end run around all these people where these houses have absolutely gotten ridiculous. Uh, the, the, unfortunately, you know, some people think they need to live in the city. You don't really have a choice. You got to get out of the city to find those prices. There are some rare exceptions where you don't have to. You know, you could buy dilapidated things, and of course, this is the reason why having skills is important. That you could actually renovate it. Um, yeah, this is kind of funny, but in the same ilk, and this is actually going on. It sounds like a joke. Uh, a lady said, "The bank says uh, I uh, I don't have the credit rating to pay nine hundred and fifty dollars." a month and a mortgage payment. Uh, so as a result, I pay $1,500 a month in rent. Can you think about that just for a second? Credit rating's not good enough for the bank, which of course uh, doesn't lend money. They lend debt and slavery. Bank says I don't have the credit rating to pay $950 a month in mortgage. It's like even if you stop paying it, you know, you would default and the bank would get the home. See, so you don't have $1,950 a month to pay the mortgage, but Resultantly, the person is paying $1,500 a month in rent. And the quickest way to throw your money away, the quickest other than gambling, is to pay rent. Anybody that's paying rent, I hate to say this, hope you're not mad at me, but you're a flat-out sucker. Don't do it. Don't pay rent. I mean, if you absolutely must do it for as little a period of time as uh, possible. Um, this is the really scary part, and I, I, I never use the word scary of 7,600 videos. So this is actually scary. I knew this was coming. Some of you with sharper minds knew it was coming, too. As a blockchain um, developer, his name is, I'm probably mispronouncing his name, Pedro uh, Magaliz. I posted uh, this uh, news. This should be he headline news everywhere, but anything that's important is not making it in the news. The news is evil and corrupt, and they hide the important things from you. This is undeniable. His name is Pedro Magaliz. Excuse me if I mispronounce it. Brazil, of course, is rolling out their central bank digital currency, and uh, this blockchain developer, Pedro, found hidden in the code, this has been confirmed, the ability, this is coming to every country, including the United States, the ability to freeze your funds and also to, at willy-nilly, adjust your balances. So, you only have about 18 months. I'd like to get, that to get to that in a second. And people, and I don't use the word fear lightly because fear is the inability to make other options. Fear is ignorance. When you're educated and prepared, you don't have fear. But a lot of people out there are going to fear this because they're both ignorant and they're completely unprepared. Um, so I don't use you know, fear in the generic sense because I'm not interested in fear. Wisdom is the light that shines on the darkness and the festering boil that is the, the uh, dark arse crack of ignorance. Uh, but this is... This is why is not everybody talking about this? Nobody on any of these media sites is talking about it. They say, well, that's just Brazil. That's just their central bank digital currency. If you think that, you really are a dim bulb, like a five-watt bulb. If you think that, that's just, that's just absolutely nonsense. Let me repeat that. If found hidden in the code of their digital currency, the ability to freeze your funds and adjust your balances. I don't tell anybody what to do with their money. I don't even pretend to be a financial advisor, but every guru on this earth will say the same thing, asset diversification, and uh, try to get uh, anything that uh, you're able to part with uh, into tangibles and out of fiat currency. Um, we're reaching a tipping point here very quickly. More uh, countries are joining onto BRICS where they're uh, going to uh, crash the dollar. And I've said this over and over and over again. There's only two ways out of this, if not both. Only two, and we are working our way to war. The only two ways out of it, and they're probably going to do both, but it has to be one of the two, is war or the implementation of, and by the way, that just kicked off like a week and a half ago, FedNow. FedNow is the United States uh, central bank digital currency.
they keep praising it. It's a, a Trojan horse. Oh, it's so great, you know, have instant transfer, and it eliminate out this issue we had before on money transfers. Man, it'll just make things so much easier. That's a Trojan horse. That's propaganda from the government trying to get people suckered into it. That's exactly what uh, narcotics dealers do. Not that I know, I don't do these things. Like when they see a sucker that's not using, they'll give them a free sample. Then they'll get them hooked. It's like a first sample or two, I've heard this anyway. I know it's true, even though I've personally not experienced that for obvious reasons. I don't partake of any of that garbage. They give you out a free sample. Too. This is good, man. Go home and enjoy this stuff. Get you hooked, then you're, then you're shafted. This is a Trojan horse. Do you have any idea how important that is, what's hidden in the coding for Brazil's uh, CBDC? You think that's not coming to your country's digital currency? Please tell me. Do you really think that is not coming to yours? I mean, please, God, be honest with me. If you think it is, you really, really are a dim bulb. I'm sorry for saying that, but it's true. Um, I've read over the weeks and months thousands of people talking about BRICS and the fact that uh, the dollar is about to crash. And it, when it happens, and there'll be runs on the bank, and they're actually preparing for this. They're going to use it as an excuse, like, oh, we, we can eliminate all these runs for the bank. We'll just go digital, you know? Fed now takes care of all those problems. Trojan horse, once again. I've read thousands, literally thousands of comments over the past many months of uh, people knowing that BRICS is about to crash the dollar in many other countries. A message for all of these Europeans, and people say, well, you're just an American, of course, you no, I, you better listen closely. All these Europeans and people in Russia and South America, and went, oh, I, they, they all say, basically, they say, I can't wait. This is karma for the United States and all the horrible things they've done. You know, I can't wait for the U.S. dollar to collapse. I can't wait. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, man, I'm just on the edge of my seat in excitement for the U.S. dollar. Here is what... All these thousands of comments, and there's millions of them out there. I can't read them all, obviously, nor would I want to. I have a message for all those people. You don't want to, do not want to see that happen. I'm not saying that because I'm an American, and I know these people are, you know, their fangs are dripping. There's a lot of millions of people, just average, normal-day citizens that are, don't have very sharp minds around the globe that are waiting for this to happen. When it happens, you will see tyranny spread so fast you will see things happen that you did not anticipate as a resultant effect of the U.S. dollar collapsing that your undies will pucker. And I don't mean in a good way. Your, the, these people have no clue. You know, Be careful what you wish for. You might get it. Remember that, uh, that warning? These people have no idea what they're asking for. Before the United States will let that happen, and or if it happens, like I said, there's only two options, inflammation and CBC, war is going to happen. These people don't want to see that happen. I don't care how much they hate the United States. I don't care. When that happens, and it is going to happen, these people will not like the after effects of that. They will not like it. Of that, I have 1,000% certainty. So that's a warning for all those people that have been begging for this. Whatever, think, whatever it is you think you can part with as far as tangibles, be that land or precious metals and other things. I have I had a saying that I've actually tested my entire life. I've had several sayings that I've tested my entire life. One is get it while you can get it. In other words, if you see it on sale, you know it's important, it saved your life. It's asset diversification. It's, you know, multiple things. Several things are multiple things. Get it while you can. Well, it'll be there. I have so many people that tell me this. I've had so many people regret it. Hey, it'll be there tomorrow. Uh, oh, it's gone. Well, I'll get it next year. Right now, you know, it's like, oh, it's gone. You know, it's too late. Oh, it's twice as expensive. You know, I can still get it, but it's two or three times. My motto has held as the golden, steadfast, immovable pillar. One of them. The other one is nothing true is popular, nothing popular is true. I have several models like that that I've tested over the decades, and they've all proven, at least the top, i got like 20 of them. That one is proven absolutely true. Get it while you can get it. Um, here's something else, and this is the reason why I was at Costco, and I saw tons and tons of, uh, of Indian Americans, not Native American, I mean, Indian, I mean other people too, 
hoarding up on bags of rice. I was even at the checkout at Costco, and they were said, there's a limit of five, and they had like eight or something like that. I had no idea. So why the hell is everybody putting rice in their cart? Uh, India has put a ban, except for basmati, I put an export ban on all non-basmati. Basmati is not under that ban. So regular white rice, uh, average price on rice has gone up about 10%. I know a lot of Americans, including me, I hate rice. I don't even consider rice food. Rice is something you eat when you don't have real food. But I know it is a staple for a large percentage of the world. The fact that it has jumped over 10% average, and India just put a ban on export on the cheap rice. You know, basmati, you know, anybody that's had basmati would never eat normal garbage rice again, but that's just absolutely huge. Um, Oh, I saw a, uh, a thing I had to get, uh, I call him Herr, uh, Herr uh, you know, he looks like me. A lot of people say he looks like me. He's a German guy. He wrote the Great Reset book. I'm going to call him Q-Tip instead of, uh, yeah, I'm going to call him Herr Q-Tip. He wrote the book Great Reset. Uh, this is what he said. These are his words. We need, we need, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we see the need for a Great Reset. Yahoo! These are his words, not mine. A um, lot of people think that we'll go back to the good old days, you know, back when things were normal. He said, this will not happen. This is a fiction. Um, and he says, pay attention to a cyber attack, yeah? He said, the whole world will change. He says something to that effect, the whole world will change. Well, a lot of people that think that, that it's conspiratorial to talk about the Great Reset. You know, every world leader, Trudeau... Uh, the, the, the Jab Sinda chick that's no longer the head of New Zealand, on and on and on, including our own president here, have said, to a great reset, great, great reset. And a recent interview with uh, 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 Justina Castro, he said, why, sir, did you say great reset? And he said, I, know, I didn't say that. And then and they play the clip where he talks about the great reset. This is absolutely coming. This is absolutely horrible news. What women do in their lives is none of my business, but this is horrible news. A lot of countries' uh, populations are crashing. Uh, China is, uh, is in serious crisis. Um, Japan is. There's a bunch of countries. Germany, a whole bunch of countries. I can't remember them off the top of my head. By 2030, this was a very, very serious and expensive study done by Morgan Stanley because our, that tells investors what to invest in. Morgan Stanley did this super serious uh, study so that it would help their investors. Like, well, we see this as the future is what you need to invest in. By 2030, um, which is not very far off, women between the ages of 25 and 44, which is basically childbearing years, right, would be unmarried and childless for the rest of their, not, not that they are, might change. No, that they are and are going to remain unmarried and childless. Um, that's way over half of women. By 2030, women between the age of 25 and 44 years old will be unmarried and childless permanently for the rest of their life. That's actually a recipe for a collapse of society, you know. What women do or don't do with uh, their bodies, I don't care. I'm not even talking about that. I'm saying that is a collapse of society. That's a collapse of maintaining society. These evil people like uh, Hair Q-Tip, I'm going to call them, you know, they, they, they get together, they have these meetings in private, millionaires and billionaires, and they talk about the little people and the peasants. I've been around these people, not those particular ones, but Mensa meetings. I've been around. I know what these people talk about. They talk about the little peons. The, the, you're all a bunch of sheep on a human farm, and they need to control you. They need to limit how much meat you eat. You need to eat bugs and... We're going to stick you in a smaller cage, a 15-minute uh, city. This stuff is not conspiratorial. It is 100% hardcore fact. I know for a fact that these people are not only doing that, they have done that. It is 100% undeniable. Knowing that fact, what are you going to do to prepare yourself? Chance favors a prepared mind. This is coming. The information about Brazil alone, and I don't use the word scare in any video. And being scared is for the ignorant and the unprepared. I mean, this is going to bite a lot of people in the boo-boo when they realize, oh my God. When the dollar collapses, it, the best experts on earth have said it literally can happen on a three-day weekend. 
the very best experts on earth, best economists. Once again, society is the thinnest crust over the largest volcano on earth. I tell you that many, many times, and it is. Right now in the United States, people are barely surviving. I ask a lot of people. I visited three pawn stores today, just kind of browsing, you know, out walking around. I went to one in Nicholasville and two in Lexington. I asked the managers there, I said, how much, not just like since last year, but since like 2019, have people been going crazy trying to pay bills and groceries? And they're pawning everything not glued down. Every pawn store manager there says absolutely crazy. Everything is getting pawned. It's just, it's absolutely off the hook. People are trying to pay groceries. I've had even people tell me that. Didn't have to ask the pawn shop, shops that, but I'm always asking people. And it is true. Um, all throughout history, the White House has uh, used a big p piece of drama, uh, shall we say, to do a cover-up. Uh, right now, there's an avalanche of bad news for the White House. I'll let you figure out what that avalanche of bad news is, because it keeps pouring in whistleblowers. It keeps pouring in from extremely credible sources. So all throughout history, the White House the United States has created a big drama to cover things up. So. Be forewarned that some sort of false flag, false flag is probably coming. Here's a fact all of us have to understand globally. Of course, some places will take a lot longer to reach, like Nepal and Tibet and, you know, other places. We have about 18 months before uh, the, uh, the collapse of fiat and things go digital. We have about 18 months, plus or minus. My question to you is, and I've made every plan possible, what is your plan for when, within 18 months or less, that fiat currency is crashed? If you think that is fear-mongering, you're absolutely wrong. I, I hate fear-mongers. I never want to be considered one. I tell you for a fact that this is coming. Do I know the exact month? Of course I do not. Anybody that says they do is, of course, lying. But undeniably, it is coming. So what plans have you made? I read every comment. You know, I might read something you know, that I had not thought of, and other people read that. It's like, wow, that's an interesting thing. I never thought about doing that. So that's how people mutually help each other. Um, old uh, hair Q-tip there was talking about a cyber attack and an EMP. Um, they're going to actually use either one excuse, one huge excuse, or several excuses. Bank runs, bank crashes, we said if 42% of banks are about ready to crash. They're in the danger zone. The best experts that look at 152 plus factors on banks, 42% of them are ready to crash. They can use EMP attacks and or bank runs and or bank crashes. All of those are just one or two of those that I don't know. As the, oh, we need to, oh, yeah, yeah, we can't have this anymore. It's disrupted society. Well, we, we got an answer. We've been working on the answer. We need to get you into digital currency. We'll fix all those problems. Wasn't this the plot for V for Vendetta? Oh, we got the answer. It'll fix everything. And all it did was give them more power and uh, more hegemonic, uh, tyrannical control over, over the, the people that they consider sheep. You know, they consider you and me just sheep on the human farm, and we need more control over you. And damn those sheep. Keep getting out of the fence. We'll build a higher fence, and we'll electrify it. We'll fix that. You're all safe now. There won't be any more wolves coming in. It's like, yeah, now you're around, surrounded by an electrified fence, and you got a tyrannical, evil despot that tells you, uh, you know, you'd be eating crickets and not eating meat, and, you know, you need to be driving, living in a 15... All this great evil. Um, here's something uh, I heard one guy say about uh, Justina Castro up in Canada. He said, Canadians apparently have it worse on the food price. said, uh, the... Canadian uh, carbon tax. The farmer is paying a carbon tax, and the truck that picks up the food is paying a carbon tax. The processor of the food is paying a carbon tax, and the truck that picks it up from the processor is paying a carbon tax, and the grocery store is paying a carbon tax, and then you finally cannot afford the damn food. Uh, he was yelling at the uh, wing of the Canadian government that he implemented it. It's just so, so accurate. Uh, Canada and New Zealand and Australia and uh, the Netherlands are test beds for the great evil of Herr Q-Tip and his uh, evil henchmen. Yes, Herr Q-Tip, his evil henchmen of uh, Hydra. That kind of sounds humorous, but I mean, it's very serious. Not that they actually call themselves Hydra, but it's just an evil, despotic uh, group of people that don't have any control over themselves, are fundamentally ignorant, but just because they're super wealthy. 
a lot of money and control, you know, they're going to spread around the tyranny. And, you know, how dare you get outside of the fence and live your own life? You know, we can't have that going on, you know. We need to tax you and have you eating crickets and bugs and driving an electric car. Brits and Europeans and Aussies and Kiwis are emailing me very distressing news about things basically folding up around them, like getting desperately expensive. Everything is off the hook, desperately expensive. And I can tell you right damn now, the same thing is happening here. Undeniably, it's not my opinion, a feeling, a belief, it's a hardcore damn fact. Same garbage is happening here. Oh, we're going to get out of it, you know, we're just like out of the, uh, you know, the past two years. Yeah, right, no, that's not what's going on. That's absolutely not what's going on. Uh, RFK is right, uh, NATO is uh, pushing Russia to war. I'll remind you once again that we shipped cluster munitions to Russia. We're actually keep poking the bear. We were just waiting for them to respond. We just keep poking Russia. We're going to send some more stuff to Ukraine, some more munitions, more heavy munitions, tanks. Now, we're never going to send tanks. Yeah, we are. We're going to send tanks. We're never going to send cluster munitions a year, year uh, later. Yeah, we're going to send cluster munitions. We're, we're pushing Russia to conflict. They want this so they can implement their uh, master plan. And that's not conspiratorial or nonsense. It's right. So RFK is right. They are pushing, NATO is pushing Russia to war. Um, oh, uh, I got a uh, horrible joke. Uh, there's a singer, apparently, Tori Kelly. I've heard of her. She's 30 years old, and she was rushed to the hospital for a, a massive amount of blood clots. Here's the joke. You want to hear a joke? It's not a good joke. Safe and effective. Safe and effective. Safe and effective. Safe and effective. I, I said it was not a funny joke, but it was a joke, and it's not actually funny at all. So it just keeps ramping up. It just keeps ramping up. I would be the first person to freely admit if things were ramping down. They are not. They're ramping up. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to contact me, my email is below. I read every comment. Let's educate each other on things that you're experiencing or what's happening where you're at.